Some readers are worried about tomato hornworms. Um, and so we got two questions about that. We'll just take them both together. Um, Deborah Crabble asks, how do you present, how do you prevent tomato hornworms from invading your tomatoes? And Judy Barr asks, does borage really help really work against hornworms? And do you start it inside or so with the tomato plants? Yeah, those are excellent questions. I, I do a lot of tomato research. Uh, we were, we're you know, looking at heirloom varieties um, across the state of West Virginia, the like mortgage lifter. Um, it, it, it really, some of these varieties that have a lot of leaves on them, like the old time varieties, they're really susceptible to hornworms. I've had hornworm issues on some of our research plots over the past few years. <clears throat> okay, so the way I manage them, I mean, they're, they're, a, they're really a disturbing pest because they're such a large worm that they eat so much. I mean, they just really defoliate the plant rapidly. I mean, and they never, they never sleep. They just, they just eat at night, they eat during the day. <laughs> Sometimes they go a little deeper in the canopy during the day where it's cooler, but they're still eating. But at night, they're really voracious eaters. So they they can defoliate a plant in just a matter of a couple of days, uh, which is that's terrifying. <laughs> so the way to deal, yeah, it is. They're and they're actually you know pretty uh, pretty terrible looking insect too. If you're not if you don't if you, particularly if you don't like worms, they're just you know something that's five inches long or something <laughs> is not not very pleasant. But um, there's good news here. I mean, um, there are natural predators for them, and and sometimes you know I've seen them in our tomato trials, um, hornworms that have been um, parasitized by the wasp that attacks them. So they, they, they lay eggs on the worm and they, the eggs hatch and then actually feed on the, uh, the worm. Uh, it's nature for you. But it's, it's, uh, there are natural predators, um, wasp species that um, attack these hornworms. So if, you, if, if the gardener sees a hornworm that has these white egg casings on them, just don't don't destroy that um, worm because it's going to be sort of a, an incubator for um, um, the other parasites, the other predators to attack other worms later when they when they hatch and, and lay eggs. So you do have some natural uh, control that, that is going on as well. But I, I got to tell you, I mean, um, and this is I tell this to commercial growers, uh, market gardeners, home uh, backyard gardeners. Is just be vigilant and everything. I mean, just look at your plants every day, every other day. You know, um, if if you see something that's chewing out large sections of your leaves, um, yeah, I'd start looking, particularly on tomatoes and peppers and eggplants. It, it seems to favor um, and, and would even attack tomatillos and, and and other things that are related to those. So anything in the tomato family, um, this um, this uh, worm is going to attack. So you might want to, you know, focus on that if you're seeing some defoliation. They're 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 highly camouflaged, so it's sometimes difficult to see them because they're, you know, they really um, blend into the canopy fairly well. But you can sometimes see their their um, their excrement, their frass, you know, that's um, that's dropping around the plant. Um, <clears throat> so, given you know the fact that you know you can you can catch them and 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 find them on the plant, you could just physically remove them from the plant. I mean, just, you know, you don't have a lot of tomato plants, that's doable. <clears throat> if you have a fair amount of tomato plants, um, the strategy I use is I use an organic um, <clears throat> insecticide called Dipel, uh, which is um, all organic. And it, it's usually at most garden centers here in West Virginia. It's just a wettable powder <clears throat> or liquid that you, you mix with another, with water, and then you just spray it on the plant. And then anything that eats the plant is killed by this bacteria that's in the spray. So it's very effective on worms. So dipel for you know corn worms could be used, dipel could be used for cabbage worms, could be used for corn ear worm, all the all the bad uh, worms that we have with, with our garden crops. <clears throat> but um, getting back to um, I, you know I've grown borage. I mean I, I love it. It's a great um, um, uh, bee attractant. Um, you know the flowers are edible, uh, the leaves are edible. It's an excellent plant for bringing beneficial insects. I have not seen any research to show that it repels hornworms. I've read that. I, I just haven't seen the research to, um, to do it. But I got to tell you, I mean, it would never be bad to grow borage in the garden uh, because it brings in so many beneficial insects. Um, <clears throat> the, um, uh, I think you could, you could sow borage from a seed um, 
you know, in directly in the garden, or you can you can buy borage transplants at local garden centers. So it's just a matter of you know how you want to do it. Um, it's a very fast growing plant, so it wouldn't take very long from seed. <clears throat> but I mean, the, the the transplants are pretty easy to find. I think at most most garden centers. Um, one final thing I did do uh, a few years back is we we interplanted basil um, with tomatoes and. We, we did feel that that reduced worm issues. It wasn't necessarily hornworms, but it's tomato fruit worm, which is another worm that attacks tomatoes. So you could interplant something like basil, I think, uh, which is well documented to repel certain insects. I just haven't seen any literature, um, scientific literature on borage, but you know, bottom line, growing borage in or around the garden is gonna be a good thing. So I'd, I'd definitely grow it if you could fit it in the garden somewhere. Wor worth a shot, it sounds like. <clears throat> yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs>